Hi, my favorite kindergarten class. We are reading a book today called Ladybug. I wonder if it's going to be fiction or nonfiction. Probably nonfiction. I have a feeling we've been doing the nonfiction. But Friday, I'm planning on doing a nonfiction book. And Friday, I want to have fun Fridays where we read a really fun book. So today's book is called Ladybug. It's by Barry Watts. And if you notice, I don't think there's really an illustrator because it looks like real pictures. Now today when I drew ladybugs with you, I made sure that I had like this part, the thorax, and then the head. Do you notice they have these two white spots? I wonder why they have them. Maybe in this book we'll find out, but maybe we won't. I actually can't remember if, if we do. <laughs> okay. Ladybug, ladybug. Look at that guy. Here is a ladybug. Have you ever seen a ladybug? They live in parks and gardens. Ladybugs are a sort of beetle. There are lots of different kinds of ladybugs. This one has seven spots. This ladybug is eating a aphid. Aphids are a ladybug's favorite food. Mm -mm -mm. This book will tell you about the life of a ladybug. In that picture, you can kind of see he's eating an aphid. It's pretty small, but I'm going to attach a really amazing video. I'm noticing that this ladybug has a dot right in the middle of his two wings. Pretty interesting. <clears throat> Come on, page. Okay. Starts with an egg, right? The larva hatch out of the eggs. Oh, what's going on with my phone? The ladybug's eggs are bright, bright yellow. They are glued firmly to a leaf. After a few days, they turn white. This means that they're ready to hatch. These tiny creatures are the larvae of the ladybug. They have just hatched. When the larvae come out of the eggs, they are white, but they soon turn black. Each larva is about as big as the tip of a pin. Can you imagine that? So that's the ladybug when they're really, really little. That's the larva. And here's the eggs. And you remember what it said? As soon as they're about to um, uh, hatch, they turn white. That's a really important fact for when we watch our ladybug video. You'll notice that they turn white. The larvae are growing fast. Aw, such cuties. Look at them growing up. They're probably in kindergarten in ladybug school. The larvae grow fast. As soon as the larvae have hatched, they start looking for food. These larvae are only... One day old. Aww. As a larva gets bigger, its skin gets too tight. Then its skin starts to split like this. And there's a picture there. It says old skin and new skin. There's a new skin underneath. Soon the larva's skin will split again and orange markings will appear on its body. The ladybug larva will change its skin four times before it's fully grown. So do you see it has all of its kind of dead skin around it? Man, I'm really glad we don't do that. Imagine one day I was teaching you guys and my skin starts to get too tight and then I just pop out of my skin and I have like a whole shell behind me. It's pretty gross. <laughs> I'm glad we don't do that, right? The larva is always hungry. Always hungry. <laughs> this drawing shows a larva from underneath. Do you guys see that picture of the larva underneath? That little label says jaws. The larva's body is divided into segments. It has six legs and a tiny sucker at the end of its body. You see that sucker right there? Look at this big photograph. The larva is looking for aphids. It's always hungry. It eats about 30 aphids every day. The larva uses its strong jaws to grip the aphid and suck the juice out of its body. Kind of reminds me of when we learned about spiders. Do you remember how the spider, they put in the venom inside the insect and then they make a smoothie inside of its body and then <laughs> suck it out? It's kind of what he does to the aphids. First, he bites into the aphid like this. Can you guys do it with me? <laughs> And then it sucks it out like that. 
charming. The larva changes into a pupa. The larva has grown very, very fat. Now it has stopped eating and will not grow any bigger. It is ready to change into a pupa. The larva finds a safe place to rest <sighs> underneath the leaf. Hmm. It fixes itself to the stem with sticky glue from its rear end. <laughs> That's its butt. After two hours, the skin of the larva starts to split down the back. Look at the drawing. Look. There he is. He's all glued in. He got his glue from his butt out, right? He glued himself onto the stem, and now he's ready to change I think he's going to change finally into an adult ladybug. There's so many steps to being an insect. So much harder than being a human, right? The pupa has a dry, hard shell. When the skin has split, the pupa looks like this. It is soft and orange. The old skin is still attached to the end of the pupa. Look at the photograph. After one day, the pupa has a dry, hard shell. There are black markings on it. The pupa stays very still. Inside the shell, the pupa is changing into dun 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 an adult ladybug. Cool. The ladybug comes out of the pupa. Five days later, the pupa has finished changing into a ladybug. It is ready to come out of the pupal shell. The pupil shell pushes from the inside until the shell splits open. Then it struggles out head first. Look how cool that is. Do you guys see it? Look at the big photograph. The ladybug is almost out. It takes about five minutes to struggle from the shell. The ladybug's body is pale orange and soft and wet and damp. It needs to crawl to a safe place until its body is dry. There he is. That's the ladybug that we know and love, right? The adult ladybug. And there's the pupa shell coming out. And I think as he dries off, you start seeing his spots. But when he's all wet like this, it's kind of like a butterfly. Like, you can't really see the spots. Look, and how cool. There he is. He's drying off. The ladybug dries its wings. The ladybug is waiting for its body to dry. Slowly, it opens its wings so they can dry too. And the ladybug cannot fly yet. I wonder why it can't fly yet. Maybe just because if your wings are damp, it's hard to fly. Look at the big photograph. Can you see the spots appearing on the ladybug's wings cases, right? This is called the elytra, right? 12 hours later, the ladybug has all its spots. Oh yeah. Its wing cases are hard and smooth. They're called elytra and they turn darker red as the ladybug gets older. Oh, how cool. The ladybug flies for the first time. The ladybug waits for a warm, sunny day. Then it gets ready to fly for the first time. It can't take off from the ground. So it always looks for the top of a grass to climb. So it can't like, that's interesting. So if it's on the ground, it can't fly. It has to kind of, I guess maybe jump off of the tip of something and that's why he climbs to the top of the grass. This ladybug is getting ready to take off. Ladybugs do not fly very fast. They open their red wing cases called elytra and they beat their wings quickly up and down. So a ladybug has two sets of wings. It has these under wings that are like delicate and lacy and it has the hard coat, kind of like a turtle shell kind of that opens up. Hmm. Oh, and we learned about this in our past book. Do you remember this? It's talking about how ladybugs pretty much hibernate, right? The ladybug rests through winter. At the end of the summer, the ladybug looks for a place to spend the winter. It will sleep through the winter under a pile of leaves. Next spring, the ladybug will wake up. Then it will look for a mate. What do you think will happen then? The whole life cycle again, right? This reminds me a lot of the book we read yesterday, but it's got great, great pictures to go with it. And here we go. There's the life cycle. Hmm. Can you name the life cycle of a ladybug from your brain? I hope I can. Let me try. Okay, ready? Egg. 
first step, right? Larva, pupa, adult, they get married. Eggs, 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 larva, pupa, adult, they get married. And over and over and over again through the generations. Well, that was a really cool book. Um, I think today is supposed to be beautiful out and tomorrow is supposed to be beautiful too. So do me a favor, like go on a bug hunt if you're outside. Look for some bugs. It will be great. And I hope maybe you see a ladybug even. And then you can check out the really cool elytra outer protective wing part. And you can let it crawl on you. You want to hear something weird? My sister's afraid of ladybugs. You know, Eliza, she's afraid of ladybugs. Isn't that weird? Nothing to be afraid of. They don't bite, right? They only eat aphids. If you were an aphid, you should be afraid of a ladybug. But otherwise, don't be afraid. They're awesome. All right. Have a great day, you guys. Love you.